none of the hip action. <laughs> I didn't see the hip action. Oh fuck. oh fuck it, hell no! Don't cock it up now. I was not expecting Akiyama <laughs> to have such good hip action, <laughs> but I'm all for that. Hi guys, Cranky Kaz here. And a shapester. And we're back with more Yakuza 5. We're going to carry on with some more Akiyama sub stories. I think we'll go over to the park and um, try and find that Strawberry Maya chick. Mm -hmm. um, I think that is all the way over this way, isn't it? It is. There's a what's his face? Oh. It's sat over there, right? The guy you train with is Saito, Saigo, how do you pronounce his Saito, name? Saito, I think. That guy. I love how everyone in this is what's his face to you. Yeah. <laughs> See ya. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> that worked. Oh, he's a victory road qualifier. Come on. Is this how the victory road works? Like you just pick on random people in the street? Yes. Oh fuck. That didn't work. I love how that's called a weapon. It's a <laughs> coffee sign. Oof. Oh, nice. That looks like it was new. I don't remember like using the lamppost to do that before. No, I'm trying to work out if that's one you've learned. Or, uh... Yeah. Damn it, why can't I beat you? Hmm? That was no ordinary street punk. He must be pretty confident in his fighting skills if he's that upset about losing. That was an impressive fight, Shun Akiyama-san. Hmm? Huh? <laughs> Who are you? I help run the Victory Road tournament. I look forward to seeing much more of you. Victory Road? The Victory Road is an underground fighting contest of qualifiers held concurrently all over Japan. Its sole purpose is to find the ultimate fighter in the nation. And that man you just defeated? He was in the qualifying round. That still doesn't explain why he was so eager to pick a fight with me. It's simple. You're a possible contender. Come again? We've had our eye on you. You seem to be a formidable fighter. But be warned, from now on, other Victory Road contenders will be gunning for you. Defeat all the contenders here in town, and I'll see you at the finals. Can you become the ultimate fighter, Akiyama? And what if I'm not interested? You'll come around. Your kind always does. Now, if you'll excuse me... I wasn't looking for trouble, but it seems it came looking for me. So hasn't that Victory Road guy talked to Kiryu and Saijima? And now Akiyama. And now Akiyama. Yep. Like, are they all going to end up fighting each other? Is that what's going to happen? Uh, don't know. So there's Saito, and then... Yeah, Strawberry Maya will be here somewhere. Uh, um... Hmm? Huh? Aren't you the young lady who bounced off me earlier? I'm terribly sorry about that. Um, I'm Strawberry Maya. Huh? You are? Yes. I beg your pardon, but are you Akiyama-san of Dynachair? Well, sort of. I'm not an employee, but... <laughs> oh, you aren't? Yamara-san asked me to serve as your manager today. I hope I can measure up. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad you're here. Yamara-san said you got lost. Is that why you were in such a rush? My sense of direction is awful. I walked all over Sotenbori, but I still couldn't find Diner Chair. You don't say? Alright then, let's get started. It's my job to get you to your appointments today. Oh shit, yeah. I have to remember what we were doing. I think I can remember. Okay, your first job today is... A magazine what interview was it now? at Diner Chair. Uh, I think the yes. order is magazine... Love to love see you smile. smile. Love check chair. quiz. Yeah, I'm, I think you might be right. First up, first up is a magazine interview. We have to go to diner chair for that. Okay, thanks so much. I thought we were swapping voices and I was going to think, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is it. Diner chair. Oh, could you wait a moment, please? <laughs> hmm? Everything all right? During interviews like this, I always get my manager to guide me with cue cards. Cue cards? So you can read often? Yes. I'm supposed to be a naturally perky and quirky character, but if I don't watch it, I go back to being my usual, ordinary self. Okay, fuck that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to avoid that, I have my manager guide me with cue cards. 
Could you please do that for me today, Akiyama-san? Uh, sure, that's fine. But I'm going to need you to elaborate. What exactly does a naturally perky and quirky character look like? <laughs> the basic premise is that I'm a princess from the Strawberry Kingdom who's secretly visiting Japan. You're what? <laughs> Also, to indicate emotion, Maya always changes the final word of a sentence. If she's happy, Maya says, Paloomp! Oh, she fucking doesn't, does she? If Maya is angry, she adds, Pon. Like, Maya is not happy, Pon. Oh, fuck off. If she's off. confused, she strikes a pose and says, Funyapa! <laughs> Shit, we need to be remembering this. <laughs> fucking hell, Funyapa! <laughs> no, no, you need to strike a pose, like this. Okay. You're braver than most, do you know that? Yes. Honestly, it's something I would rather not do. Whenever I see myself doing it on TV, well... It's kind of hard to live with. But if the manager isn't quick enough with a cue card, I have to say something to avoid any awkward silence. Ah, that's why you need the cue cards. Well, to be honest with you, I'm not too confident about doing that. Oh, please. I really need it. If I break character, my boss will kill me. Uh, I'll do the best I can. Fucking hell. So you need to be quick with your, uh... Oh my god. <laughs> Hello, I'm Asano with Beginner Magazine. We're a talent audition news magazine. Today, we're hoping to delve a little into Maya-chan's private life. We, oui, nice to meet you, Paloop. <laughs> Fucking hell. So, Strawberry Maya-chan comes as advertised. Are you always like that, even when you're not on TV? But of course, Paloop. Maya is the princess of Strawberry Kingdom, after all. Uh, yes. Yes, you are. <laughs> Forgive me. <laughs> wow. Maya-chan's really laying it on thick. She's normally so sincere and serious, too. It must be tough for her to keep it up. I can't let her effort go to waste. I have to make sure I get her cue cards right. She says paloop when she's happy, pon when she's angry, and funyapa if she's stuck for an answer. Maya-chan, can you tell us how you spend your holidays? What does someone like you do on their time off? Hmm. Maya can't do without her strawberry carriage. She just loves taking it out for long drives. Her strawberry carriage? What is that? The strawberry carriage is a giant strawberry drawn by white stallions. The premise is... I'm sorry. Did you just say premise? Oh, uh, um, off to a great start, I see. Okay, here's where I come in with the cue cards. What should I write? <laughs> <laughs> okay, my chan, read this. Maya didn't say that, pon. <laughs> Maya didn't, didn't say, say that, that pon. pon. So that's when she's angry, right? Yeah. Is that so? I'm pretty heard. I heard you say the word premise. Did not pon. Oh, well, if you say so, maybe you should have gone with the uh, paloomp yeah. option. Yeah. the funia pa. She managed to tough it out. I guess this is how I'm supposed to support her. This will be the final question. We received credible reports that you're actually from Osaka, Maya-chan. Would you care to comment? So not true. Maya is the princess of Strawberry Kingdom, pon. There are photos circulating online of... Purportedly. Thank you. Of you from your junior high yearbook. Were you... Yearbook? Yearbook even. Were you aware of that fucking hell, man? Pardon? Is that true? This doesn't look good. I went to the school and spoke with one of your teachers. She said that you were a timid, but rather thoughtful and considerate student. Uh, well, you see... Let me ask you straight. Is it hard to keep up the Strawberry Maya-chan character? Don't worry, this can be off the record. This interview is not playing nice. Maya needs a cue card. But what should I rate? Funyapa him! <laughs> <laughs> We're out of options, Maya-chan. Funyapa him! <laughs> ah, you returned my serve, did you? Bravo. That takes a real pro. Kudos for your dedication, Maya-chan. Maya Chan's looking more and more discouraged with each Funyapa. Still, that one was unavoidable. I suppose I could have been angry again. Yeah, I'm kind of confused. I get the feeling she's not too happy with how it worked. Phew, that one, that's one job done. Or down, even. Yes, thank you. But we still have more to do. Okay, what's next? 
Um, definitely not the Princess League. Love, Love to, see to see you smile. smile. I believe it is. Yes. Oh right, you're going to be on. Love to see you smile. Let's get you over to Sutton TV. Oh yes, please. Like they do this to the poor girl. Oh, she looks so not thrilled. She's gonna hate this. Welcome to, Welcome to Love to See You Smile. How is everybody doing? Love to See You Smile is a talk show. Yes, we've done it before with Haruka. Oh, fucking cue cards again. Oh. I see, I see. But I have to know, do you really have fans? <laughs> oh, we very much so. I enjoy the love and support of everyone in the Strawberry Kingdom. Let's set aside the Kingdom of Strawberries for a sec. How about Asaka? Do you have fans in this neck of the woods? Wee oui, wee, oui. I am adored in Osaka too. How dare you doubt me, Nomu-san, Pon? Okay, so far so good. Well, you'd be cute if you weren't babbling nonsense. <laughs> Word of advice, that bit about the Strawberry Kingdom isn't doing you any favours. Huh? It's not? Of course it's not. When someone comes in with a weird gimmick like that, it makes it hard to engage in banter. If you ask me, Maya-chan, you ought to go to your agency and talk it over with them. Maybe consider switching up your brand a little, you know? Something proper. Uh, but I... This calls for a cue card. What should I write? The Strawberry Kingdom is real, Pong! <laughs> <coughs> it's not some made-up backstory, Pong. My, you're an obstinate one. Don't you find it tiring to keep up that quirky, perky charade day in, day out? No, not at all. This is just who I am. Please, you can't fool me. Even when you do that Funyapa pose, your eyes tell me you can't stand it. But Funyapa is, uh, a standard greeting in the Strawberry Kingdom. It would be silly for me to find it humiliating. Oh, come off it already. Incidentally, who thought up that Funyapa thing anyway? Who? Uh... Why? Oh, cat, no. <laughs> Everything's still running? Yep. Looks to be. Funyapa him! Why me, of course. Paloop. Oh, shit. Ah! I didn't do it in time. What's wrong, Maya Chan? We're live on air. You have to say something, you know. Funny Pa! Um, uh, well. Funny Pa! Oh, come on, that's not fair. This is so weird. I have to admit, the Funny Pa thing is convenient, even if Maya Chan doesn't like doing it. Funipa, you <laughs> ask me a question I know yet. Funipa! No, maybe not. Phew, well, that's it for Love to See You Smile, but we still have one more job to do. Yes, it's a quiz program, Sutton Bori Love Check Quiz. Let me guess, to maintain that quirky image, you have to get the answers wrong, is that right? Oh god, yes, that's right. The agency told me I must not answer correctly. They don't make it easy for you, do they? The quiz is made up of true or false questions. If I'm to answer incorrectly, I'll need to know which answer is actually correct. Oh god, and then I have to Okay, get the I get that. I need you to guide me with cue cards again. Will you please help me? Of course. I'm right behind you. Hey, cat. This is Sodden Mori Love Check Quiz. Welcome to the show, Strawberry Maya Chan. Maya-chan, you're well known for your quirky ways, but some rumours say you're actually a quite serious and relatively ordinary person. Oh, no, no, no! I am not quirky at all. I am the princess of the Strawberry Kingdom. Ah, please forgive me. Now, let's begin, shall we? It's time for Sudden Boy Love Check Quiz! Okay, let's get the cue cards ready. For Maya-chan to stay in character, she has to give the wrong answers. Meaning I have to give her the wrong answers. Question okay. one. Between Osaka Prefecture and Tro Tokyo Metropolis, Osaka is the bigger of the two. True or false? Which one's I bigger? Um, I would say Tokyo is bigger. Yeah, so, so we means, say it's true. Uh, yeah. That took too long. <laughs> That's true. Incorrect. Oh yeah, so we want to be incorrect, don't yes. we? Yes. Question two. Two times three times four times zero divided by two equals zero. Yes, zero is true, so you want to say false. Thank you. I'm glad you did that one. I was just like, um... 
I believe it's false. false. Incorrect. Thank God for that. <laughs> <laughs> Dolphins are mammals, true or false? Well, that's true, so false is the yeah. answer you want to give. False. <laughs> This one's false. Incorrect. Question four. Idle and idle. Both are people. True or false? That's false. So, so it's true. true. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> true. Incorrect. Question five. The first computer ran on batteries. True or false? Oh, God. Uh, uh, I would say the answer is false. So you false? want to say true? I would go with false. Yeah, so you want to say true. Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea though. No, I don't actually, but I'm pretty sure. It, well, I'm, Why I'm would it? I'm surprised. Be... Good. Okay. Question six. The final day of July is the 31st. Yes. That's true, so say false. This is getting a bit. Surely he'd come along and just have a true or false thing. You would do think, that, right? Wouldn't he? Question seven, legal age, in, eight, drinking age is 18, true or false, or what the heck is it in Japan, uh, though? Somebody told me, because I was asking for Haruka, I think it's older than that. So you want to say so true, So I want to say true. Oh, and Squishy's woken her. Yeah, we're going to have to go sort Squishy out. One sec, guys. Oh, I can't pause. We're just going to have to leave Akiyama in, like, permanent... Sign holding stance. <laughs> One sec, guys. Right, we're back. And Akiyama's just patiently waiting with his cue card. I hope it's true. Incorrect. Okay, good. Excellent. Question, Question eight. eight. H is hydrogen, O is oxygen, and Na is nitrogen. True or false? Well, that's false, so say true. Yeah. Again, true, false, true, false. You would think, right? Incorrect. Question nine. French toast did not originate in France. True or false? Oh, God. Uh, I don't know. No, I'm going to assume that French toast means it was in France. So I'm going to say... I don't that. know where French toast came from. Let's say false. Good. Good. That's right, then. Question ten. The French Revolution came before the Russian Revolution. True or false? Uh, so the French Revolution was Marie Antoinette. When was that? Like, 17 something? The Russian Revolution. The Russian like, Revolution was a lot later. Yeah, like, 20th century. 20th century. Yeah. So, we so, say true. But no, it, it did become, it became before the Russian Revolution. Oh, so you would say, say false. false. Nearly fucked it up there. Oh, the very last <laughs> question. Or maybe we fucked it up because we get actually given. Why? Well, that's false. Yes! 10 out of 10 wrong. Wow, a spectacular 0 out of 10. That takes some doing, even if you're guessing randomly. Was it perhaps too hard for the strawberry princess? Why would you Oof. want to pretend you're thick, though? Wee oui, wee, oui, indeed it was. Much too hard for me, paloop. Thank you for coming, Strawberry Maya. Join us next time on Sutton Bory Love Check Quiz. Silence. Nobody was even there, were they? Uh, good job, Maya good Chan. Job. Appreciate you bearing with me. <laughs> oh no, Akiyama san, thank you for putting up with me. I'm sorry I'm so high maintenance. Not at all, Maya Chan. You're doing all the work. I admire your commitment. Thank you. Something wrong? I don't know if I can keep this up much longer. I feel so forced and fake trying to go forward with a character who's nothing like me. Hmm. What originally prompted you to market yourself this way? My manager told me I'd never make it if I took a conventional approach. But it's really my fault. I'm usually so timid and I get all flustered when I talk to people. What I really want is a job on a children's TV programme where I can sing together with the kids. I've always liked children and I used to play with them every day. Really? Well, when you put it that way, your character might not be so out of line. Kids love that kind of thing, right? I thought so too, but I've only ever appeared on variety programmes. I haven't done a single job where I get to sing with kids. That's why I'm wondering if it's even worth it to keep pretending to be someone I'm not. What good is it if I can't even follow my dreams? Maybe I'm just not cut out, cut out for this. The poor girl's exhausted. As a manager, I should try to cheer her up. 
Um, Akiyama-san, do you think I should drop the whole silly strawberry kingdom thing? Uh, carry no. on for your fans. If you were to drop the character now, you'd be betraying all the fans who support you. I think you should stay the course, Maya-chan. Do you really think so? The fact that you work so hard to stay in character should, could actually be part of your charm. I think kids will pick up on that. I watched you all day today. I think I get how your fans see you now. Akiyama-san, thank you. I feel much better about everything. I'll keep going as the Princess of Strawberry Kingdom. Yep. Hang in there. I'm so glad I got to get that off my chest, Akiyama-san. I don't dare speak to my real manager about this. Oh shit, your real manager's outside the door. Hmm? You expecting someone? Uh, well... And, uh, you are? Huh? What do you mean? You don't know who I am? Uh huh? huh? Sugihara-san. You know this guy? He's my manager. Mm. <laughs> oh, he's a big name in the comedy world. Ah, right. I may have seen him on TV. So, Sugihara-san, what brings you here? Um, Sugihara-san has been offering me a spot on one of his regular programmes, but... Say, Maya-chan, baby, why have you been avoiding me? We should continue our discussion from before. Maybe somewhere private. Mm. Well, it's just I... Not to worry. Come on my show and you'll be riding my rocket to stardom. Right, okay. I wonder which rocket he's talking yeah, about. Yeah, exactly. Um, you see... Hey, I can understand your concerns. It's a big career move. What do you say we grab a bite somewhere and get to know each other a little better? Say, Maya-chan, is this guy hounding you? Yes, I've been turning down his advances. People tell me I have to watch myself around Sugihara-san on account of his thing for newcomers. Hey, who the hell are you? You ain't the usual manager, are you? Sounds to me you should piss off. You're right, I'm not her manager. Therefore, we can duff you up. Then get out! i got things to discuss with Maya-chan in private. Sorry, pal. No can do. What? You have any idea who you're talking to? So, you're a big name in comedy. Wouldn't you know it? I'm not involved in the entertainment industry in the slightest. Huh? In other words, you could be the emperor of entertainment, but as far as I'm concerned, you're just another sleaze. What? <laughs> if you want to keep running your mouth, I suggest you keep that in mind. <clears throat> Screw you, smug bastard. Oh well. Thank you so much, Akiyama-san. Yeah, it's sad to think guys like that actually exist. Show business is a scary place. <laughs> I'll take you back to Sottenbori. It's been fun, and I'm afraid our time together is over. No. Oh. Yes, I suppose it is. I think we were a good manager there. Well, it could have been worse. <laughs> we got zero out of ten, so we knew we definitely did that bit yeah. right. <laughs> oh, it's night time, and she's back to normal. Okay, I better get going. Akiyama-san. Hang in there, Maya-chan. I'll be cheering for you from the other side of the TV. Take care. Not so fast. Hmm? Hmm? Oh, he's brought his, he's brought his mates. You think you can just stroll away after dissing me to my face? You little punk, I'll show you what I'm about. Really? You know, for a big star, you're amazingly petty. <laughs> Everything I wanted, I took and made it mine. Uh. You want to make it big, you've got to be determined to take whatever you want. <laughs> You'd make for a pretty good speaker if your head wasn't so far up your ass. <laughs> Aki, what should we do? What should we do? What do you uh, think? No problem. Keeping talent safe is part of a manager's job. Maishan, may I ask you to step back a little? <laughs> I'm going to fuck these guys up. <laughs> I'll show you. Get him, boys. I'll be singing a different tune once you rip his arm off. Oh, lovely. So he just happens to have Yakuza mates as yeah, well. Yeah, apparently so. <laughs> so, how do I do that move again? I think you need heat to start off with. Do I? I, think I can't good. remember. <laughs> not that you need it, you just come along and just do that. She's... Oh no, that's not her. <laughs> I was thinking she was cheering in the background. You just flail that leg. Yeah, I will just flail. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. 
<laughs> you having fun? Yeah. <laughs> Just juggle them in the air, I love it. <laughs> Alright, come on, get up. Ow. No! <laughs> Come here and walk into my flailing foot. <laughs> Wait, what? All these guys? By yourself? Uh -huh. Screw this, I'm out of here. <laughs> He's just like... Eh? You're amazing, Aki Amasan. Heh. <laughs> you alright? I'm so glad you were my manager today, Aki Amasan. But now this really is the end, isn't it? Oh, Yeah. That's how it goes. I get to meet all kinds of people in this job, but things tend to move so quickly, I usually never see them again. Thank you so much for everything today. Thanks to you, I was able to focus on my work. Is that right? Glad to hear it. I'm usually very guarded around people, so I was worried about not having my usual manager to steer me today. But I'm very glad I got you instead, I can Aww. understand. So, um, if you don't mind, may I give you these? Oh, huh. yes. Nice. Man, my pockets are full. Uh, I don't need that. I'm still poor, so that's about all I could give you to show my gratitude. Sorry, it's not much. No, no. You made my day. Thank you. Thank you again, Aki Yamasan. I'm pretty high maintenance, aren't I? I'm painfully aware of it. Yeah, well, it definitely made the manager job a lot more interesting. I'm sure your regular manager feels the same. You really think so? Well, I was your manager for the day. I'd like to think I've earned at least that much trust. <laughs> no. <laughs> you have. Okay, Akiyama-san. Thank you so much for today. Goodbye. Keep at it, Maya-chan. No. That was quite a long trip story. It was. Got a reasonable number of... Uh, Experience points. Yep, I'll level up for it. Yep. Right. How about okay. that stalker around uh, Haruka's apartment? You think it's as well? worth going to do that? First of all, let's see what combo speed boost. Uh, yeah, let's do the combo speed boost and double quick step. Cool. Right. Let's have a look on our map. So yeah, we've got the stalker that's sort of hanging out around Haruka's apartment. Oh, mm -hmm. we've got an exclamation mark up there now. Oh. To the north. Oh, is that a victory road? Saying, potentially. Maybe. Since you've kicked that thing off. Yes, maybe. Should we go south and do some more of these side stories? Why the hell not? I was There's wondering, yeah, I was wondering if we'd get to Haruka, but I'm not sure we will this uh, episode. <clears throat> you gave us the eye, didn't you? Get down on all fours and beg for forgiveness. Wait, we did no such thing. We weren't looking at you whatsoever. Mm -hmm. The fuck is that? Tokyo talk? Ugh, your accent makes me want a yak. But we didn't, uh, we ain't giving you no dirty look. You little shit. You dissing the Osaka dialect? No, we... Yo, mind if I cut in? The fuck do you want? Keep your nose out where it don't belong. Please help us. These guys started harassing us for no reason. They're totally ruining, it, ruining our field trip. What do you mean, harassing? Shut your mouth, bitch. Easy there, Tiger. They're just a couple of high school kids. How about letting them go, eh? Shut up. I told you to keep out of this. This is just going to be a straight-up fight, isn't it? It is. Menacing men. Oh, there's a guy who wants to do a bit of Akiyama-style leg work. <laughs> I love that move. That is a pretty cool move. Akiyama. Player. Ah. <laughs> you flail at all I the signs will. in the Thank window. You. I'm gonna pick up this thing. We buy used books, Banner. <laughs> uh oh. Ooh, we're gonna use like a baseball bat. A baseball bat or a golf club. <laughs> Who wants some? <laughs> well, that were easy. 
This dude's too freaking tough. Guy really knows how to fight. Please, man, forgive us. Okay. Uh, chuck the iron plate in the box. And I might use an item to heal myself so I don't keep getting that item box mm -hmm. thing. Thank you very much. Yeah, you saved us. For some reason, a soccer dialect makes guys like that way scarier. Well, that was... Was that it? Was that literally it? Oh, no. Saggy pants, man. <laughs> Yo, I saw you later. Smack down on those guys. It really something, you know that? I know. Huh? Who might you be? I'm Hide. Hide. Yo, I'm a dancer. What was that funky footwork you were flipping out there? I don't know how I'm supposed <laughs> to answer that. <laughs> Not many guys can hop around like you. You're like some kind of spring heel demon. That told me everything I needed to know. Oh, yeah? And what's that? Your true identity. What else? You're a dancer, ain't you? And a damn good one, too. Ha, <laughs> ha, Hardly. I'm nothing like that. Don't play dumb, yo. You don't need footwork like that just to kick fools around in the street. No way. Why, Why do, do I attract, attract these weirdos? weirdos? <laughs> <laughs> from the looks of you, you ain't from around here. Don't tell me you came all the way to Sotten Boria without planning to take me on, yo. Are we having a dance battle? Is well, that Kiyama? I don't even know who you are, so... Huh? I told you, man, I'm Hide, the dancer. You got memory problems or something? No, I remember that, but that's not the point. <laughs> <laughs> okay, word. Yeah, I'm still a rising star, but it won't be long before I have a household name. You can't call yourself a dancer and breeze right by me like it's nothing, yo. Sure, sure pal, pal, whatever you say. <laughs> Look, I have to get going. Yo, you're running away? Forget that, I challenge you to a duel! A, a duel. duel? A dance battle! Oh my god. If you win, you'll be known far and wide as the man who beat Hide. I think I can live without that title. <laughs> but if you run, you'll be forever branded the chicken who ran from Hide. You want to live with that, yo? I keep telling you, I I'm not a care. dancer. Huh? You saying you're cool with being a chicken? I didn't say that, yo. I didn't yo. say that, yo. <laughs> I didn't say that. Yo. <laughs> oh, yeah? Then that means you're taking me on. Apparently I am. I don't like to lose. Plus, I've been watching Haruka dance a lot lately, too. Are we doing Akiyama dance battle? Huh? <laughs> it looks like it. Huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> Nothing. Bring it. <laughs> Let's dance. <laughs> I knew I was right about you. Let's get it on, yo. <laughs> dance battle, baby. <laughs> Please let it be the same move set as Haruka. <laughs> it's actually <laughs> happening. <laughs> He's doing that. <laughs> it's gonna be the same moves. <laughs> I can't believe we're seeing this. Now oh, I have to remember how to do this. Oh fuck your health slow. Oh, cool. Hot stuff! <laughs> He's got some moves! Exhilarate! <laughs> I can't believe what I'm seeing. I love this. Oh damn it, he used it before me. In sight, what's that? Heat went down. <laughs> I love the hip action. <laughs> I didn't see the hip action. Oh fuck. oh fuck it hell no, don't cock it up now. Oh he got his health down, excellent, that's good. Almost there. Hot stuff again. Bonus points. Spirits went up. You won. Yes. yes. <laughs> Is that all you get out of Yakiyama? Yes. <laughs> ah, that was amazing. That Yo, was you amazing. worked the dance floor with me. I was not expecting Akiyama to have such good hip action. <laughs> But I'm all for that. <laughs> well, I managed to put it off, but... 
Dancing is seriously hard work. I'd have to give a smoke <laughs> if I wanted to do this for a living. I've definitely gained a newfound respect for Haruka-chan. But your footwork, it's out of this world. I was right about you, yo. <laughs> Aye, like I promised, you Aye. can now officially call yourself the man who beat Hide. You got a toughness emperor. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Stick the Kansai Walker in. No, don't, need don't, that I, don't I need that? Oh, right, okay, fine. I Maybe I do? That. I don't Sake. actually know. Rena. Sake. Maybe I don't think salt. I need salt. I'll get rid of the salt. Uh, no thanks, that's one title I won't be using. <laughs> okay, let's have an item. Okay, I'm enjoying Akiyama's sub-stories. Uh... Yeah, sure, <laughs> let's have that. What is Akiyama doing when he's like... I have absolutely no idea. Yeah. Good, uh, good impersonation. Right, it's let's just go a noise, and do this. Darling. Thing. <laughs> oh god. Ugh. Hello. Electronic salesman. Hey there, friend. Come on over and have a look at our shop. See, he's got that got smile where spot. when I say no, he's going to beat me up. It's yeah, like that got other guy. But a truck don't go for shockingly cheap prices. No. Appliances, you say? What have we got? <laughs> what have we got, he asks. Why? We have everything except what we don't. Ah, ah got, got me, me there. there. Sure, I'll take a look around. How about a flat screen TV? The picture's amazing, you can see the pores on the actress's faces. This latest model's going for just 200,000 yen. 200,000 yen, huh? I guess the office could use a TV. For just 10,000 yen more, I'll throw in a three year extended warranty. Oh, Make piss 20,000 more on, I'll stretch the warranty to a full 10 years. Piss off, you'll disappear. Do you deliver? We most certainly do. For just 30,000 yen more, I'll drive it there myself right now. Now, will that be cash, credit, or payment plan? No. Hold it right there. Huh? Uh-oh. Oh, she could kick the shit out of you, I reckon. What do you want, lady? Keep your nose out of our business. <sighs> Mister, you're from Tokyo, ain't you? Don't go shopping at a place like this with your wallet hanging open. You almost got robbed blind. Oh, now what the hell, lady? Stop spouting nonsense. You're kidding my sales. A TV these days won't set you back 200,000. There's plenty to be had for a lot less. I can't bear to watch someone get fleeced like this. Come on. We're going. Uh, okay. He's got that face. Uh. <laughs> Take a look at my words instead. <laughs> uh, so, uh, you saved me? You're about as sharp as a bag of wet mice. Uh, <laughs> I couldn't bear to watch. You don't know the first thing about shopping in Sotenbori, do you? It's different from shopping anywhere else. If I didn't step in and take you under my wing, you would have bought at that shop's asking price. That's just plain wrong. Oh. Shopping in Sotenbori is a battle against the shop. Everyone here haggles. In fact, you'd be crazy not to. Really? A battle, huh? That's right. Tell you what, this old girl's gonna be your guardian angel and teach you how to shop in Sotenbori. How about it? It's just like another, like, like mini game mechanic they put in. Maybe. Sounds interesting. Yes, please. Good. No one better to learn, you know. Uh, learn you how. To learn you how. Okay, here's what you do. Here's 10,000 yen. I want you to take this and do a little shopping for me. I need an electric toothbrush, a leopard print skirt, and a pair of red high heels. Huh? I'm doing your shopping? Right. But only after I teach you the fine art of haggling in Sotenbori. We'll start with the basics. Alright, the first rule in haggling, praise your foe. Successful negotiation means winning the hearts and minds of your opponent. <clears throat> and don't praise the merchandise. It's the same as with women. Don't let them know you're interested. Right. Makes sense. Rule number two. Never name your price. Let your opponent reveal their hand first. Hmm. That rule applies to a lot more than just haggling. I've got to hand it to you, Asaka ladies. You're pretty tough customers, no pun intended. The third and final rule. Respect the merchandise. Merchants usually take great pride in their wares, after all. Saying something's old or scuffed to knock down the price, that's a big no-no. Yeah. Haggling in a way that hurts the merchant's pride is an ugly thing. A fight in which both sides respect each other's worth and end it with a handshake, that's the perfect way to haggle. You do well to remember that. And there you have it. The three rules of Osaka-style haggling. You get all that, rookie? Yeah, loud and clear. Right then, go get the items I've requested. And remember, 10,000 yen or less. 
before you go off to battle, you want to hear my rules for haggling again? No. I'm good. Got it all down. I think we're going off to uh, La Marche. Do they have La Marche in Sottenbury? Remember, if you don't get 30% off each thing, you'll be over budget. Now get out of there and show them what you can do. Okay. An electric toothbrush off this guy. Yeah. We'll start with the toothbrush. <clears throat> Hello, mate. Hey, it's my friend from before. And... Ah, oh, not that old battle axe too. Oh, you won't have to worry about me. As if. But okay, whatever. Are you back for your flat screen, are you? Take a look. Let's, Let's push the, the TV aside. aside <laughs> do you have any electric toothbrushes? We sure do. This one comes recommended. Get the best for just 6,300 yen. Nope. Take 30% off and I have to try for 4,410. That's a pretty tall order. Open, Open fire! fire. <laughs> Yikes! What? What's, What's that, that she, she said? said? Oh, uh, yeah, don't mind her. Nice shop you have here. Charming. You know, this store, it's got a unique charm. Not like those big appliance stores. It has a real sense of welcoming to it. She nodded because that was good. That's just it. With a place like ours, it's important to be a good neighbour. A good member of the local community. It can't be easy for you, but it really speaks to your shop's status around town. Ah, uh, now here's a man who understands. You know, I like you. If I could, I could just give it to you as a gift. You're pretty likeable yourself. Maybe a part of the shop's charm comes from you, huh? My friend, I dare say you got the best of me. I'll drop right down to uh. 5,000 5, yen. Target's that. Just a little more. Uh, ah, not that. You're a pretty generous guy. You certainly are generous. I'm impressed. Ah, you say that, but we still don't have a deal, do we? You're a sly one, friend. I'm almost there. I just need one last nudge. Though I do feel kind of bad for taking advantage of your generosity. Okay, then. 4,500. How's that grab you? Slightly more. Kind of a half-assed figure, don't you think? What do you say we cut loose change right out? Mm. All right, buddy. I surrender. 4,000 yen it is. Deal. 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 <laughs> <clears throat> That'll be 4,000 yen on the nose. Thank you kindly. Perfect. Yes, the target was 4,410, so I got well over a 30% discount. Looking good. Next up, the leopard print skirt. It's going to look kind of weird, me buying one of those, isn't it? What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello, welcome. Anything I can help you find? A leopard print skirt, actually. <laughs> ah, you have good taste. I have just the thing in your size. Oh no, it's not for me. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm only joking. Just a little <clears throat> poke in the ribs, you silly man. Okay. A leopard print skirt. I do have one. It's 3,000 yen. Will that be alright? 30% 2,100, okay. yeah. Pardon me, were you an actress? Pardon me for asking, but were you ever an actress? She's nodding, as if to say that's the good one. What kind of question is that? You think laying on the sweet talk will get you a better price? Not at all. It's just you're so timelessly beautiful I nearly forgot how I was out shopping. Oh, you. Bet you're saying that everywhere you go and breaking out all the girls' hearts, you lady killer you. Oh, you're a good one, all right. Okay, then. I'll drop the price down to 2,700. 2,700, yeah? Oh, stop it. Don't look at me that way. Oh, you naughty boy. 2,500, then. Target's 2,100. Can she take another nudge? Yep. <clears throat> You know, this leopard print skirt is one thing, but really your whole selection here is brilliant. Definitely a cut above the rest. Hmm, you can tell. That's quite an eye for quality you have. Makes me happy and proud to hear that. With such a discerning eye, I guess I can give you a break. How's 2200 sound? Sounds like a half-baked number that's just begging to be bargained with. What say we lower it to a nice round 2000? Done. 
That'll be 2,000 yen then. I'll even throw in some candy for you. You've got yourself a deal. I love the fake smiles they're all doing. you got a leopard print skirt and a candy. Happy days. Okay, got the price under 2,100 yen. This gives me a great shot at clearing the last test. The red, red high, high heels. heels. Oh, fuck. Are we going to buy it off this dude? Apparently so. How are you, mister? Mister, you haven't bought it at the right time. we got our going out business sign sale going on right now. How about a pair of red high heels? Ah, let me see. Yes, yes, we got some. Is this a gift for a lady friend or something? Well, actually, it feels more like an errand for my mum. <laughs> okay, well, they're retail priced at 15,000 yen, but I'll let them go for 4,200. Wow, from 15,000 all the way down to 4,200. That's quite the price cut. Forget about quality, we're all about the lowest price. Admirable of you. Your honesty is impressive. 4,200 yen. Take 30% off and I end up with that. Fucking hell. <clears throat> it's going to be tough to bargain him down when it's this cheap to begin with. Has this shop been here a long time? Uh... Yeah, it's got to be that. This one? I would say so, because I was the last one. I was like, can you really get by like this? Has this shop been here a long time? We started right after the war, so well over half a century now. But I'm leading towards shutting it down for good. Oh, yeah. You said you're holding a going out of business sale, isn't that, isn't that right? <laughs> well, the closing sale's been going for the last ten years, but that's more to show our customers we're serious about serving them. <laughs> we're not worried about being a healthy, money-making business anymore. Our prices are pretty much cost. Definitely seems that way. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be much room for negotiation. You're an exemplary merchant. There we go. I've got a hand to you. You're an exemplary merchant. I bet I could learn a lot from you. You don't say. Well, there's no need to stand around and listen to an old man reminisce. You young folk are people to see, things to do and whatnot. Oh no, as a businessman myself, hearing your story is actually quite educational. That's so. Warms my heart hearing that. Seems these days no one has time for this old man. Tell you what, I'll give you a break on the price. How's 2,000 yen sound to you? You've got that not far in one jump. He's already gone way past 30% off. What should I do? Um, what do we need to get it to? 2,000... It was Yeah, he's, he's already gone past 30%, so you could just take him. I'll take him. Alright. I don't want to push I'll it. I'll take him. That'll be 2,000 yen. Appreciate your business. Well, he gave me a bigger deal than I hoped for. I bought everything I needed for under 10,000 yen too. Yeah, I didn't want to push him because it might have yeah. pissed him off. Yeah. She might give us a hard time now, but who knows. You're doing well, dear. To be honest, I didn't think you had it in you. I had a good teacher. It was a real education, to say the least. <laughs> Oh, and thanks for doing my shopping. Truth be told, none of the shops around here deal with me anymore. I've haggled them down too much. <clears throat> huh? So thanks to you, I got my shopping done with a nice deep discount. Thank you, dear. Wait, so you're saying you used me to get a discount? Yep. <laughs> Come now, why the long face? Here, maybe this will cheer you up. Fitness gear. The pockets are full again. Ooh. Uh... Let's get rid of the angler's hook, because yeah. we're not going to be doing that. Wonderful. Okay, so did I do good there? I wonder what would have happened if I tried to haggle him down. Who right. knows? Shall we equip the fitness gear? Uh, upgrade our abilities as well. Enhanced throws. Essence of comeback sounds good. Oh, that sounds fun. It right. does sound fun, but we don't have enough yet, do we? So, is this going to be better than... I can't use that here. Oh, okay. Ah. Never mind then. Fitness gear. Hmm. I wonder who's going to use that then. Right, let's see what's on the map. So we can either go south or we can go along... Should we start heading back towards Haraka's apartment or do you want to go down to the south? We would go to Haraka's apartment, couldn't we? Check out that stalker. Yeah? 
Yeah, no. My only concern is that we, um, if we go into her apartment, then we're sort of carrying on with the Haruka stuff. Well, it, that's if you go into her apartment, whereas like the stalker stuff is going to be happening outside. Yeah, I just didn't know whether uh, to do the sub stories that are closer. I guess they might still be available. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're kicking him against the pole again. Oof. Fighting a Zapiyama is so satisfying. It is. He says being well versed in Akiyama fighting, of course, oh, himself. Fuck. Uh, go. Uh oh. Was he meant to have the sign through his? I think so. Head? Yeah. Oh, where, where did these guys come I from? Don't know. Love the uh, triple finisher. Yes, on his face, and he kicks it. Nice. Oh, pick up the thing. Ah, you can't. Your inventory's full. Huh. Hang on, can I take something? You could. Um, suck it. <laughs> you got Torada instead. That's the first thing that's been dropped like that. Uh oh. oh Smashing <laughs> with a beer. <laughs> He's got a beer keg on his head. Yep. <laughs> How many times is he just going to kick it? Oh, oh shit. That's the first time I think we've seen Akiyama punch. And apparently his punch is powerful enough to smash a beer keg to pieces. Yep, apparently so. Right, that's let's... A, that's uh, a quest on the map as well, that one there. She looks familiar. Looks like, um... The hostess from Kiryu's part, but I don't think mm, it is. It probably isn't, but... Glamorous woman. Where is the Sky Finance place? It should be somewhere around here. Hmm. Looks like we might have another customer. I've already got a lot to deal with. What should I do with her? Let's talk to her. If I don't deal with business once in a while, Hannah Chan will have my hide. Excuse me, were you looking for, for looking for my office? Mm -hmm. Huh? Are you from Sky Finance then? Bingo! I'm the president, Akiyama. <laughs> Oh, you're Akiyama-san? Fabulous. I've been looking for you. Have you now? So, what might this be about? I want to borrow money. I see. You're after financing. That's not exactly something to be discussed in the streets. How about we take this to my office? So we've been making our way all the way over to Haruka's apartment. We're going to go all the way to the top right-hand corner again. That's fine. With his shopping bags. Yeah. First, may I have your name, please? Hi. Nanako Kadama. Okay, Kadama-san. You mentioned you were seeking a loan. How much were you hoping to get? Well, 300 million? 300 million? Mm. Yes. I heard that you'll lend any amount. Sheesh, word on the street's really getting out of hand. You mean you won't lend me the money? I'm not sure yet. Why exactly would you need that kind of money? You see, I'm actually a pin-up idol. Huh. Well, you certainly look like one. <laughs> Nice boobs, too. <laughs> wow. Akiyama-san, I heard about you from an older girl. She said you took care of her. Did she now? And? What does a pin-up idol want from me? It's my agency. They stopped treating me with the kind of respect I deserve. They said they're changing my promotion approach and suddenly demanded that I change my public persona. They call you an idol, but that's just a title. I imagine even an idol will have to change to meet the market's needs and wants. Yeah? My fans aren't like that. They know Nanako Kadama is the real deal. What you see is what you get. If I were to suddenly change, I would be betraying my fans. I can understand that, but your agency must think you can attract even more fans by doing so. It's not about numbers. I most certainly can't and won't betray the people who have supported me so far. Hmm. Long story short, I decided I would be better off promoting myself. You're looking to go independent? 
Yes. If I want to stay me, I have to set up my own agency and represent myself. See, I wasn't sure whether she was going to be <coughs> dodgy or not, but actually, she doesn't seem to be, does she? Mm -hmm. So far. I see. In other words, you're seeking a loan to kickstart your own agency. That about sum it up? Exactly. Do you have any seed money? None. Business plan? Nope. Really? So, why 300 million yen? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry? Since you're in the entertainment business, you should know that. Behind the glitz and glamour, money's oftentimes extremely, t extremely tight. Not even top stars get promoted with that massive a budget these days. <laughs> you're looking at it backwards. Spend 300 million yen and you can make a star out of just about anyone. It's just like Korean dramas and music. They only broke out in Japan after being promoted like crazy. This is no different. You may have a point there. I don't think you should go cheap on promotion just because the economy is bad. Success takes risks. I want to prove my agency wrong and succeed as Nanako Kodama just as I am, no faking it. For that, I need 300 million yen. I get the picture. Okay then, instead of a loan assessment, I'll have you take some tests. If you can pass them, 300 million is yours. Tests? Indeed. Success takes risks. Isn't that what you just said? I get it. Okay, I'll do it. If it means making my dream come true, I'll do anything you ask. I like your attitude. So, what would you have me do? Let's see. What should her assignment be? Hmm, put that body to work. <laughs> <laughs> become the number one girl at a cabaret club. Let's have you work at a cabaret club. See if you have what it takes to become the number one earner. Yeah. Huh? Me? A hostess? Yep. I'll hook you up with a friend's club. You'll work there. But this is so out of the blue. I have a busy career too, you know. You only have to work one day. If you're the highest earner that day, you pass. If not, you fail. Oh, just one day? That's too easy. <laughs> I'm a pin-up idol, remember? A celebrity. If I just so much as mention it on my blog, my fans will come stampeding. Does today work? Sure. If you want, I can go right now. Perfect. I'll get in touch with the club. So off you go. The place is called Mamagoto. Okay. 300 million, here I come. Well, well, this should be interesting. <laughs> Welcome back. That was quick. What kind of place did you send me to? There's no way, no way I could make number one there. Oh? I thought you said it would be easy for a celebrity to become the top girl. Not that when all the girls working at that club are celebrities, they're all pros like me. They sure are. That's the club's big draw. There were even younger girls from my agency. If I could become top earner there, I wouldn't need to go independent. So you gave up without even trying? I guess you failed then. That's too bad. Yeah? Wait. Wait a second. I didn't say anything about giving up. But you said you can't win, isn't that right? That's not true. I'll beat the girls from my agency for sure. Just you watch. Well, I thought she was all taught, but she might have more drive than I expected. Mamagota Club is in East Shofukucho. I should swing by and see how she's holding up. Okay. I'll just have a quick save since we're here. Just in case one of the squishies wakes up. Okay. We've actually been going about an hour now, I think. Uh, but we could always head over to that club and see how she's doing. Or we could go over to Haruka's apartment and look for this stalker. You're probably going to end up like going past the place anyway. Since it's like, stuck you all the way in the top left-hand corner. Um, so, did, did you say East? East Shofakucho. So that's probably around here, isn't it? I can't remember. Map, let's have a look. Um, zoom in. So which one? Sh yeah, to the right. Right, That's, so is it, it is that one. It is, yeah. If, if it was east, then yeah. Okay, well, tell you what, let's go... Let's just do a slightly longer episode then. Oh. That was weird. Yeah, it was highlighting the, the food stand. Ah, oh, it's the chef dude! Is it the chef dude or Victory Road? Damn it, I'm through with this shit. Huh? What's up? You fighting in the Victory Road too? I guess you could say that. 
That makes you a competitor too, huh? Yeah, but I'm not looking for a fight right now. I just finish one up so I'm beat. Okay, got it. Doesn't take much to dissuade you, huh? You're not like the other guys. The name's Banba. Ryuichi, Ryuichi Banba. Banba. I'm Akiyama. I didn't actually want to do this victory road thing. My dad signed me up for it without asking. Your dad? Why'd he do that? He runs a karate dojo, but lately there have been fewer people joining. He wanted to put our name out there through the victory road. So I got stuck with doing it. Now I can't go two steps without some punk picking a fight with me. <laughs> you don't sound like a martial artist. Well, a real martial artist doesn't seek to show off their skills. All the competitors I've, I've gone up against have so far been a piece of cake. I wouldn't mind as much if the fights were more challenging, but this is getting pretty old. I guess there's no point complaining to you, though. See you around. Mm. He seems pretty confident, but guys like him tend to get the rug pulled out from under them in the end. Oh, hello. You wanted a fight, though. It's like, ugh, oh, really? Fine. We'll get this awesome fight music again, then. Yep. Come on! There we go. <laughs> come on, you come over here. Oh, oh, no. I wanted to pick up this. Oh, for fuck's sake. Fine. What are you trying to pick up? There's something there that I want to pick up. Oh, uh, the empty cap. I thought it was like... Um, basically, I thought it was something more than that. That'll do. Nice triple finisher there. Like! Channel your inner Kiryu. Yes. You're gonna ride, gonna ride it. it into him. Whee! <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh yes. Dear. There we go. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> right. Cool. Let's be on our way. Where are we going again? Not that way. Not that way. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going, Akiyama? Where are you going, player? <laughs> right, Mike's still going south? I can't no, even you want to go east. Uh, that way, west now. There west, you go, it's yeah. that one there. Okay. Mama Goto. There you go. Talk to that guy. That's Lamarche. Talk to that guy. Ah, yes. Howdy. Oh, Akiyama-san. I'm just checking up on that Nanako Kadama-chan I sent your way. How's she working out? Nanako? She's been fantastic from the get-go. I've never seen a girl so eager to work. But enthusiasm isn't enough to win your request from clients, is it? The world doesn't really work like that. All our girls are celebrities. That's our selling point. A chance to meet stars. In terms of looks, our hostesses are unbeatable. <sighs> But the girls have their pride, too. They see themselves as stars, so why serve drinks as hostesses? I can see that. They're only working here because their agencies make them. Well, their pride gets in the way of business. You can't expect them to deliver friendly service with an attitude like that. It's nice to meet stars, but the service quality is disappointing for the price. That's what you get for hiring real hostesses. That's where Nanako-chan's different. She's incredibly friendly and courteous, nothing like you'd expect from some snooty idol. She's been both humble and hardworking. Our guests get to know her, and next thing you know, they're lining up at the door. She's really raking in the business. You don't say. Sounds like she might make number one. I'll go back to the office and wait for the good news. <laughs> at least he didn't have to walk there. Yeah. <laughs> Akiyama-san. Hey, welcome back. I did it. I had the highest sales today. Sounds like it. I got a call from the club's manager. <laughs> what do you think? Did I change your opinion of me? Huh. I guess you have. Okay, on to the next one. Yeah. Huh? I'm not done? Of course not. Nobody said anything about that being the only test. 300 million is a lot of money. I can't hand that over for doing just one simple task. <sighs> okay, I'll do it. What do you want me to do next? Let's see. 
What should I have her do next? Let's <sighs> do go collect a loan. I'll have you collect on a loan. Just stop by and get the money for me. Oh, an errand? Sure, no problem. The client is Murata Trading in the Shofuko Sotenbori building. Show them these papers and they'll get the picture. Got it. I'll leave right now. 300 million, here I come. Success takes risks, huh? Let's see if she really means that. Better check on her at Shofuko Sotenbori building. So I bet they're dodgy fuckers, aren't they? Mm hmm. Seems kind of a dangerous situation to put her in, though. Hmm. Well, she wants 300 million. I guess she's going with the approach of, you know, do you go in without hesitation? I want to know what the put that body to work option I know. leads to. That's going to be the last option, isn't it? So. The final test. Yeah. Oh God, lady, move. Right. Where is this building? Is it the one there? Do you think? To be on, that on the, one, I think, yeah. yeah. Maybe. We, oh, let's get a taxi. That'll be much quicker. You would. You just knocked a I random know. passerby over. Well done. Never mind. Perfect. Yeah, let's go there. Saves us a bit of time. For some reason I'm now remembering the taxi mini game. What Kiryu's? Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty good. Okay. Uh, oh no, it's this. What? Is it that? No, I think that's something else, isn't it? Oh shit. Or is it that one? Is it down here? Might be down there. Let's have a look. Is it, yeah. Okay. Is it down there? Looks like it, yep. Okay. We'll ignore so that's, another, the... that's another dance Yeah, part, we'll but... ignore the dancing lady for now. You might trigger the stalker quest, of course, going past there? here, but we'll see. Oh, oh all the gang members first to a hoodie, sunglasses, and a mask, so you can't see the face at all. Don't need a face to beat him up. I think you'd um, pinned him up against whatever he was against. Ow! <laughs> I'll do. She's a trolley thing. Cart. Damn it. Well, that didn't last very long, did it? <laughs> oh -ho -ho! Nice. Come on, get up. Get up. <laughs> there we go. You've got an iron plate. That's going straight in the box. There we go. That's oh. the stalker. Wow, seriously? Guy's none too secret about being a stalker, is he? Oi. Excuse me, pal. Mind telling me what you're up to? Hmm. What? Who are you? I'm with Dinah Chair. Ring a bell? You're from Haraka Chan's agency? Yep. So, let me ask you again. What are you doing here? Uh, well, you see, I. Nothing. Later. We're gonna hey! Have to chase, him. chase. Chase time. Okay, that's kind of weird that it threw me into that side yeah. quest, but we're doing it. Come on then. Go, 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 go. Oh, fuck off. No! Bosh. Bosh. <laughs> oh bollocks. You're going with smack him over the head with the bottle approach, yes. are you? Rather I'm than trying throwing. to, but it's not really working. <laughs> oh fucking hell. Give me that. Ah, oh, nice. <laughs> you nicely. Quit skulking around Harakachan. Oh, quit skulking around Harakachan. Stalking is a natural crime, you know that, right? 
You got it all wrong. I'm no stalker. I was just trying to keep Harakachan safe. Sure, pal. That's what they all say. Yeah. I swear I'm not lying. Harakachan really is being stalked. No admission of guilt, nor any sign of remorse. Okay, you had your chance. What do you say we call the police? I'm not lying, I'm telling you. Look, there he is. Hmm? That's him. He's the real stalker. I see him wandering around Harakachan's apartment all the time. You serious? See, there he goes. He's the stalker, you've got to believe me. What? Damn, Damn it. it. Why do they always have to run? Another chase. it would have got away by now, but oh well. This one might be slightly longer if there's health. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Get out of the way. <laughs> Damn it! It's a good job that they just run around in the circle. It isn't is, it? isn't it? Yeah, miss. Got the health. Your health was restored. <laughs> God damn it! <gasps> I'll do. <laughs> Smack him over the head with a bottle. Sounded like he said wanker then. <laughs> wanker! Man, they've got me running all over town. So, pal, tell me, are you the real stalker? Stalker? You got it all wrong. I was hoping to protect Harakachan. Fucking hell. Oh, jeez, not you too. Fine, we'll let the police sort this out. Wait, wait, wait. Hmm? I'm really at your stalker. Look over there. There he is. Ah. ah. Don't try to pretend you're not, you creep. I've seen you stalking that, staking out Harakachan's apartment plenty of times. You take that back. I ain't no stalker. I'll have you know I've been keeping Harakachan safe. Oh, fucking hell. Hey, mellow out. What's going on here? Hell if I know. Where do you get off calling me a stalker? I'm going to keep Harakachan safe from the likes of you assholes. Say your prayers. Uh Oh, look, these random extra guys just suddenly appear as well. Oh, no. Oh, look. I thought they were actually part of the fight. I did as well. That yeah. was weird. They just sort of stood there and then... Yeah. Oof. Well, that was easy. Hmm? Oh, yeah, my error is here. So, so what was all this about? Gentlemen, would you care to explain, please? Hi. I'm not a stalker. I admit I found Haruka-chan's apartment and I hung around hoping I could maybe see her. But then I noticed there was this shifty guy hanging around there as well. So I told myself I had to protect her. It was some guy in a tracksuit. Wait, Wait, that's the same as me. I saw this brute sniffing around Haruka-chan's place. She needed protecting from him. I saw that creep in the suit acting all kinds of suspicious. I was trying to keep Haruka-chan safe. <sighs> alright, alright. I've heard enough. Basically, Basically, all three of you are whistling the same tune. You all tried to keep Harakachan from a stalker and all got mistaken for one. <sighs> what a mixed up bunch of white knights. How silly can you get? Well, it's a good thing it wasn't serious. These guys seem harmless enough, just some fans who took things a little too far. Sure cause does enough worry, though. You stay away from Harakachan's place from now on. If I see you again, I'm calling the cops. It won't happen again. Please, Please forgive, forgive us. us. Sorry for causing you trouble. Phew. Thanks for clearing this up, Akiyama-san. I suppose I should thank you, huh? How about this? Okay. Okay, another My thing that will... pockets are full again. Am I now in the wrong place? I'm fairly near to Diner Chair, the, uh, to Harry. Yeah, actually, yeah, it's just down... Uh, oh, no. Down there. Well, yes, I'm fairly near to the club side story, yes. Yes. And then we could that. leave it there, couldn't we? No, I don't want to fight you. Dumb I luck. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, guys. This is going to be quite a long episode. You wanted to do side stories, though, right? I did, yeah. I didn't want to have to do too many side stories next time, because I'm, if I'm right, I'm heading to the Princess League, aren't I? So, so that might be quite a long uh, section. 
And of course, there might be more Arica sub stories. Because we haven't done that many as her. We haven't. That's a wall. You wallop that cone. Was he videoing that on his phone? Probably. Uh oh. Still like two. Where do all these people come from? Well, I'm just wondering if they're calling in reinforcements when they're using their phone. Maybe. I don't know whether that's a thing, but maybe. Okay, I think he's dead. He is now. Jesus. There we go. A skyrocket? What the <coughs> fuck is this? It's a it's firework! firework. <laughs> when you take it out, you can't put it away again. Okay. Okay. Right. Let's see if I can... I don't even need to take any items. That's the thing. No. Um... I don't, I don't need no, that, don't. do I? Don't do it. Oh, I could have the, this candy. Alright, fine. <gasps> oh. Sure, let's just have that. Right. This is the Shufuku Sotenbori building. I should see how Nanako's doing. In you go. Not that one. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> one of these days I will get the right door the first time. <laughs> I'm here to collect on your loan. <laughs> now, if you wouldn't mind paying up. No? Huh? And who are you? Akiyama san from Sky Finance sent me. He said to show you these. Sky Finance? Eh. Hmm. This ain't what we agreed on. I ain't paying shit. Huh? I borrowed on the promise of no interest. Now he's telling me he wants immediate repayment with interest. Guy can go fuck himself. But that has nothing to do with me. Is that what those papers say? You heard me. I ain't paying. Not a single yen. Now get out of my office. I'm sorry, but I can't do that. I have to collect that loan from you. Eh? Whoa. <laughs> That's a bit of an overreaction. We went from, like, angry words to sword. Okay. <laughs> you got something in your ears, lady. I said I ain't paying and I damn well meant it. Hit the road. No, I'm not leaving. What was that? I'm sick and tired of doing what other people want. I want to be a star on my own terms. Besides, if you hurt me, you're going to be in big trouble. Akiyama-san knows I came here. If anything were to happen to me, he'd go straight to the police. All right, you win. I'll pay you money. Hold on. Really? Still holding the sword. Here, now scram. Thank you very much. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> How did we get in without noticing? Man, what a piece of work. Good job. <laughs> Who's all the axe? Oh, hey. You saw all that? So you're really letting me off the hook for that loan you gave me? I tried scaring that girl like you told me to. <laughs> Didn't actually test. have to succeed, though. Right? It was a test for him, too. Yeah. Right. That was perfect. What was in that bundle you handed up? A stack of you losing lottery tickets. <laughs> ah, got it. Nice ad lib. That little babe turned around and threatened me. She's sharper and gutsy than she lets on. I'd have to agree. Better get back to the office. <laughs> she's looking a bit sullen. Maybe because she's looked in there and realised, oh, I got a minute. Oh, there you are. You kept me waiting long enough. Sorry, sorry. I had to step out for a quick errand. I collected your loan like you wanted. Good job. Let's put that body to work. Oh, wait, no. That's the next thing. Okay then, what should I have you do next? <gasps> next? Next? I'm not done yet. If you pass my tests, I'll loan you the money. Really? Oh, alright, fine. I'll do whatever you want. Heh, 
I admire your commitment. What should I assign her? Put that body to work. Oh no. I want you to put that body of yours to work. Yeah. Is she meant to say no to this? It might be tough for a pin-up idol, but sometimes dreams don't come true unless you give it everything you have, you know? You can always say no, but that, of course, means you fail the test. If it were my agency asking this of me, I would never accept. But since it's of my own free will, I can do it. I will do it. Huh. If you say so. <laughs> Where do you want me to go? Is she going to be like a mascot or something? I have absolutely no idea. Head on over to Sutton Bory Street. I'll let them know you're coming. So they'll approach you when you get there. Okay. It's for 300 million yen. I'm going to give it everything I've got. Okay. Let's just see how well Little Miss Innocent fares. <laughs> it's done so deliberately this is, isn't it? No. Oh, oh. Put that body to work. We should have got that hint, because didn't yeah. um, Park Sam? Yes. She did magical well, there was construction a, there was a or whatever, didn't she? Picture, there was like a picture of her in this sort of thing, yeah. It's finally over. My knees, my back, all my joints feel like they're made of rubber. Mm. Welcome back. You look a little winded there. Are you going to be all right? You said it was a job using my body, but you never said anything about working at a construction site. Oh, I didn't. Well, anyhow, cheer up. You succeeded. You passed that test. Yay. And that means you passed all the tests. Because I don't think we've got any other options. All right, the next test. Uh, huh? Exactly how many more hoops do I have to jump through? Just one. Really? Really. This is the final test, so listen closely. Change your stage name. Pardon me? Nanaku Kadama's done. You continue your career under a new name. But I... What's the matter? All you need to do is change your name. Shouldn't be a problem. Well, yes, but... I need an answer. You either change your name or fail the test. You have ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Time's up. You fail. You're awful. You gave me an impossible test. Now I'd never accept it, didn't you? What makes it impossible? It's not a difficult task. If I stopped being Nanako Kodama, it would just be like giving in to my agency and changing my persona like they asked. That's completely unacceptable. I have to stay true to myself, and that includes keeping my name. Akiyama-san, I've played along this whole time, but all you've done is toy with me. You were never actually going to loan me the money, were you? Are you done making excuses? I'm not making excuses. Besides, those were really strange tests, and it was all completely meaningless, wasn't it? How would you know if any of it was meaningless or not? In fact, the final test told me exactly what I needed to know. It's impossible for you to go independent and start your own agency. You'd just be wasting your time. How dare you? What could you possibly learn about me from those silly tests? I learned quite a lot, actually. I wanted to see if you could swallow your pride and work hard as a hostess, compete against younger girls from your agency. I had to see if you had the courage to not back down in the face of danger and the smarts to achieve what you set out to do. And I also needed to know if you're physically capable of pursuing your dream, even when pushed to the absolute limit. The three tests I gave you all to see if you had the power to make your dream come true. The power to make my dream come true? Well, I passed your tests, didn't I? Shouldn't I have it then? And if that's the case, what was with that final test? Why do I have to change my name? Power is one thing. Will is another. I needed to see just how far you were willing to go for your dream. The final test confirmed it. Your dream isn't as precious as you make it out to be. You're just unhappy with your agency. Am I wrong? Well... Power and will, they're equally important. Without one or the other, you're guaranteed to fail. There was another woman like you before. She also came to me for a loan of 300 million yen. It was going to take power and will for her to realise her dream. Murray Park had them both. Murray Park? You mean from Diner Chair? Yeah. A year and a half ago, she came to me for a loan to make her dream come true, just like you. And I assigned her the same three tests I gave you. She passed them all without a single word of complaint. Even though she's a former pop star, it couldn't have been easy working as a hostess among girls half her age. But that didn't stop her. She proved she could do it. What about the final test? Was it the same as the one you gave me? Park Sun's final test. 
I told her to get out of the production business once her current project had ended. Yeah? Huh? But that would mean her story would have ended the same way, out of the business whether her project succeeded or not. It's not the same. Park San turned her next chance into her last chance. It helped strengthen her resolve to make her dream come true. It proved she was committed to making that girl a star. Wait, do you mean that girl on Princess League? Rather than her very livelihood as an agency president, Murray Park chose to make her dream come true, if just for a moment. Once I saw that she had both the power and the will to realise her dream, I happily gave her the loan. I see. Your feelings towards your fans are real. Your desire to make it as a star is authentic, too. You have what it takes to succeed. Then why? Because your dream itself, your desire to go independent, was a lie. Oh. You came to me because you were unhappy with your agency, isn't that right? Yes. You were angry with your agency for not understanding you. You rebelled against their orders to change who you are. You took those negative emotions and sugarcoated them with the convenient guise of a dream to fool yourself. Real dreams stem from something more positive, don't you think? Akiyama-san. Nanako-chan! My manager? What are you doing here? I've been looking everywhere for you. I had to ask all over town to finally track you down. I'm sorry, I'm sorry I told you to make a change without considering your feelings. I didn't know how much I'd hurt you. But I want you to know that the agency hasn't given up on you. On the contrary, we think you can shine even brighter. Really? I'm kicking myself for not properly taking this matter up with you and discussing your career together. No, it's my fault too. I was acting totally selfish in spite of all the support I was given over the years. It's thanks to the agency that I even became an idol, and with fans who support me no less. I somehow convinced myself it was all about me. Nanako-chan. Um, so, I'm sorry for all the trouble I caused. No, no, the fault is all mine. Please forgive me. Aww. Aww. So it's all worked out, and... <laughs> See? They really do appreciate you. Huh? If you ask me, you've got a pretty good agency behind you. Like I said, you have what it takes to succeed. You're right. It's time I stopped running away from reality. Um, Akiyama-san? Hmm? I know I put you through a lot of trouble, but could you please forget about my loan? Sure, that's fine. On one condition. Don't do anything half-heartedly anymore. Deal? I'll be rooting for you. Yes, sir. Thank you for everything. Yeah, I didn't do anything worth thanks. Okay, then. Well, well, that's that. That's that. And I'll be damned. I really didn't do anything this time. Well, except maybe blow through some more money. <laughs> and this rate, it's going to be quite a while before the Salt and Bori branch gets back on track. More there you go. experience points. So I think we did a lot of sub-stories there. Mm. Um, including the Stalker one, which I hadn't actually planned on doing. Oh, I can't look at the map here. I think we should save there and we'll mop up any sub stories with Akiyama next episode and I think we should then change to Haruka and continue with the Princess League then. Sounds good. Okay. Looks like I have some time to myself. Once I run out of things to do, we'll change to Haruka in the next episode. Till then, bye. See ya.